Hi, my name is Laura and I want to share with you my behavior management plan. One year as I was thinking of what to do as a, a behavior management plan, uh, I heard a teacher say we need to focus more on positive and I thought I've never had a plan that focused so much on positive. And then I thought God put in my heart, think of my law and how I reward um, those that um, follow my commands, basically your classroom rules, and then those that don't, their consequences, and that's where I got the idea for this. So I teach third and fourth grade, so I decided to do fireflies. I have a camping theme in my classroom, so I figured this would be a good thing, and I put some lights, and every child has their firefly with their name on it, and I made my classroom rules, and of course you would adjust this to your grade level and make sure that it's age appropriate. So. Um, here are my rules, and then every child, like I said, has their firefly, and on the right side I have their rewards. So if I catch them doing something really good, I give them some kind of verbal praise, and um, if they continue, they get a sticker or a stamp, they can go get themselves. And then if they continue to do well, um, they get to go to a seat of choice for about 10 to 15 minutes. It could be my teacher's desk, it could be a tent that I have in my classroom, anywhere they wanna do their work for 10 to 15 minutes, as long as they can listen to what I'm saying. If they continue on that route, they get a positive note home. And then at the end of the day, whoever's reached this firefly, they get a positive phone call home. On the other side, the consequences reflect my reward. So instead of verbal praise, well, you're going to get a verbal warning. Uh, if it continues, I'll pull them to the side and have a teacher talk with that child, pray with them, let them know that, that they have to show Christ's character. Um, if they continue, then they go to timeout for about 10 to 15 minutes. If they continue on um, this route, then they get a, a note home, but it's not gonna be a positive one. And then at the end of the day, if they're still here, it's a positive phone call. I'm sorry, a negative, uh, uh, just a phone call home. Now I cannot, in class, they're gonna be moving around these fireflies. I can't do that here. So I brought stars to kind of demonstrate a little bit. So here we have Mary, and then we have John and Daniel. Now we wanna focus on the positive here and I wanna encourage them to fly to the right side. So usually when a child is misbehaving, it's because they're seeking attention, some kind of attention they're not receiving in their life. So let's say that Johnny is misbehaving, you know, not following one of our rules and Mary's sitting right next to him and she's being really, really attentive. I'll say, Mary, good job, you're doing great. So I'll grab her firefly, in this case it's a star and that was a verbal praise. By that time, Johnny is wanting the attention that Mary is getting. And I will continue with Mary. If she's, you know, demonstrating more of these rules being followed, then I'll say, you know what, Mary, you're doing such a good job. Let's go ahead and give you, go get a sticker or a stamp. Now, if I'm close to this bulletin board, I'll move it for them. If I'm far, I'll let them move it. And then the moment I see John do something good, I'm gonna praise him. I'm gonna try to ignore behavior that's not a big deal and focus on the good. And at the moment I started doing this, I saw a difference in behaviors uh, from students who, you know, like to test the teacher. And so this will be moving around all day long. Uh, let's say Daniel here um, starts talking out and I will say, Daniel, you have a, a verbal warning. Okay, so throughout the day, let's say Mary and John continue to do well. We keep moving up step by step. You know, uh, but usually by the end of the day, most students are on this side because they like the reward. And it's not just the reward, it's that attention that they get um, being called out for something good. They enjoy that. And let's say that Daniel, you know, just continues not following the rules and he makes it to timeout. But then he has a change of heart and he gets another chance because God is all about forgiveness and we all get second chances. So I'll say, okay, Daniel, we're gonna, he, he will receive all those consequences, but he said, you know what, I wanna start fresh. So I bring him back and we're gonna start fresh. And the moment that he starts doing well, I'm gonna start praising him. I'm gonna catch everything, every good thing that he does. And I want to shoot for success in the classroom. Now this really transformed my classroom. It seems like something simple, but it really worked. And I feel like if you can control your classroom with their behavior, then you can teach and have a successful year.